Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to discuss something essential, choosing the right version of Blender for your needs. Now, you might be wondering, isn't there just one version of Blender? Well, not exactly. Blender offers three types of builds, the standard current Blender version, as for this video it's Blender 3.5.1, a long-term support or LTS, and the experimental build. Firstly, the current standard Blender version you can get on the Blender's website or the Steam's download version. This Blender build would include new features and improvements that have passed the experimental stage but might not be as stable as the LTS versions. If you're looking for cutting-edge tools and are okay with occasional hiccups, then a standard Blender build could be your choice. Next is the LTS version. Blender's LTS program is designed to ensure that long-lasting projects can be executed with a stable Blender version, providing critical fixes throughout a two-year time span. It doesn't have any new features, API changes, or improvements but stability is guaranteed, which makes LTS the most reliable choice, particularly for larger, long-term projects and add-on support. Lastly, we have the experimental builds. These builds have new features that may end up in future official Blender releases, but they can be unstable and potentially crash quite often. This option is like living on the cutting edge. You get to experience the latest and greatest that Blender has to offer, but at your own risk. So, which version should you choose? If stability is your top priority, go for LTS. If you want to experience the latest features, the standard Blender build is your pick. And if you're adventurous and willing to risk instability for the sake of trying out new features, then you might want to check out the experimental builds. On a personal note, I primarily work with the latest LTS builds, as they provide the most compatibility with the add-ons I use. I do occasionally check out non-LTS builds to see what's new, but I don't rely on them for my long-term projects, and as for the experimental builds I'll say I never touch them. What you will be seeing me getting and working on will be the LTS Blender build's current version as of this video is Blender 3.3.6. The main reason for this is that I tend to work on long-term projects and having to restart a new Blender file because of a crash is not something I'm looking forward to, so I'll keep on working on the LTS as it's the most stable build and the most add-on compatible you can find. Remember, Blender is a powerful tool and there's a lot to learn. So take your time, experiment, and find out what works best for you. In the next tutorial, we'll start customizing Blender's interface to suit your personal workflow. Until then, remember, keep calm and Blender on. Don't be afraid to break things. See you in the next tutorial.